So if you're like me, you probably want to share your videos that you created on Instagram and you found that pretty much every time you upload a video to Instagram, it looks like absolute mush. What we're going to do today is, you know, talk about how to get the best quality mush on Instagram. Because at the end of the day, Instagram just doesn't handle video uploads very well, but they are getting better and better as time goes on. So yeah, let's talk about what I do to upload the best quality video that I can to Instagram. So if you were to just post your video just like you would post a normal photo, that is where you're gonna run into the most problems and the most mush looking video that you're gonna get because it's gonna compress your video the most. You're gonna get a 480p upload, which is pretty bad, standard definition, I guess. Not really, it looks terrible. So what you're gonna wanna do is actually upload your video to IGTV. And I used to wanna avoid uploading to IGTV because I didn't like that you weren't able to upload landscape styled videos uh, to IGTV because it was a vertical platform. But Instagram recently in their newest update made it possible where you can upload your horizontal landscape videos to IGTV. And when you're watching on IGTV, you can actually make it full screen, which is awesome. You can finally have people watching your videos on Instagram full screen rather than just like that little tiny bit that when you post a landscape video to Instagram, that's what you get, just that little tiny real estate. Pretty much what you're getting when you upload to IGTV is a 720p quality clip versus like a 480 quality clip that you're getting posting normally, which is, again, it's not even HD, but it's a huge step up from what it was and it looks a lot clearer. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere and this is actually a video that I just recently posted to IGTV. So if you wanna go ahead and check out the quality of what that's looking like, go ahead and you'll see that, you know, it's better than you know my oldest previous videos that I posted not on IGTV. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to go to our export settings and we're gonna name our file, whatever you wanna name it, IGTV video test the explanation point. And then even though Instagram is only giving us pretty much 720p to play with, I'm gonna export my video at 1080p to give it a little more wiggle room. I don't know if that's scientific, but I feel like it works, but and this is what I do. So because my ratio is 16 by nine, I have a 1920 by 1080 clip that I'm exporting. I'm gonna click render at maximum depth. Uh, 4.2 looks good to me. Gonna come down here to bitrate. I'm gonna make it a constant bitrate, and 16 should be, you know, enough to give you a quality 1080p file. Then I'm gonna click use maximum render quality. I'm not gonna touch anything in audio. Everything, all that stuff's good. And I'm gonna go ahead and click export. Now it's important to note that IGTV only takes videos that are one minute and longer. While as if you just posted uh, to the regular platform as you would a photo, it needs to be less than one minute. So if your video is not longer than one minute, say it's only 30 seconds, what I would do is what I actually just did on my last previous video that I uploaded was I just in Premiere, I copy and pasted all that and just sat it right next to each other. It was just a natural loop of video and that put me over one minute, so. Nice little hack right there. Now, instead of taking that file that we just exported and putting it onto our phone and uploading it through our phone, what we can do is actually just upload straight to Instagram.com on our desktop or laptop, the website. So this is how you upload. You go to IGTV, you click upload. Then right here, you can drag and drop your file. I'm gonna click here, find my file. And this is the one I uploaded. Or this is the one I exported previously. And you're gonna go ahead and open that up. Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and pick a cover image for your video. I'm actually gonna post this, so let's uh, click photo of my dog. So the cover image that you select for your IGT video is going to need to be 16 by nine. So easy, just go into Lightroom, go into Photoshop and take whatever image you wanna use as your cover and just crop that into 16 by nine. The minimum recommended size is so-and-so pixels. Then while this is uploading, go ahead and you know type your title. 
type your description. And then what's really super important when you're here at this stage is make sure you're clicking post a preview. And what post a preview is going to do is allow what you're posting on IGTV to go onto your actual feed. And that preview on your feed is going to be what the center square of your cover image is. So maybe this cover image that I selected wasn't the best because it's gonna take the middle square and that is going to be what you see on your actual Instagram feed. Make sure, yeah, when you're, you're picking your cover image, it's something that you like and something that's gonna work well with your feed. So once that's uploaded and everything's good to go, Make sure your video plays. As you can see, it's uploading landscape, which is awesome. You can also not make it landscape if you don't want to make it landscape. Like you can post a vertical video if you want. I just like shoot my videos landscape because I like it. And that's how it's been done for ages. And it's a cinematic way, you know? So I don't death the vertical. So yeah, once everything's looking right, feel free to just hit post. I'm not going to hit post and that will go straight to your Instagram. So you see the cover 16 by nine cover image that I uploaded here. And when you look at it my feed, it's that middle square section, which actually turns out pretty nice for this one. So yeah, so if we're on my phone, looking at my Instagram IGTV video that I posted, people are gonna be able to click it. It's gonna appear like a normal post that you would see. And it's definitely just like way better quality than what you've been able to do in the past with just posting directly you know, to your timeline. You're allowed to able to post longer videos than one minute, which is finally, which is awesome. Something that I've been wanting to do uh, for a while now is post actual real work on Instagram. And what's awesome about posting the IGTV is you can actually watch it full screen, which is something that you weren't able to do before. And you can see your, your Instagram video big and it's not super small and, you know, tiny. So yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, maybe there's better ways to do it that I don't know about, but for my personal tests, doing it over and over again, also doing my own research and trying to figure out the best way to post videos to Instagram, this is what I came across. And this is what gave me the highest quality video upload for Instagram. You know, you, you're making these videos and you wanna share it with your friends, families, uh, you know, coworkers, whatever it may be, so and you put all this time into the video and you don't want it to look like crap because not everyone's gonna be directed to your link in your bio. You want them to be able to see a nice quality video on your actual Instagram. So this is, again, not perfect, but the closest thing you can get to perfect on Instagram. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful for you. Good luck on your next uh, Instagram video upload and talk to you next time, guys. See ya.